Okay guys, I just picked up this miter gauge and uh, it's manufactured by Drill Pro. It has a couple of features in it that I was looking for. It has the ability to tighten it in the T-Track. It has these divots so that you can adjust the angles um, precisely. And this particular one, uh, it was on sale and it had a couple of extra components. And uh, so that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Okay, I've got everything laid out on my new Polk style workbench. And uh, let's take a look at uh, what comes with it. It does come with an, an upgraded brass handle, and this, this is heavy. And we've got some Allen wrenches and uh, some washers and nuts and bolts. So uh, let's dig into it and see how we can put this together. All right, let's get it out of the package and see what we're working with. Also has a built-in tenoning jig right here. Okay, before I can use this as a uh, normal fence for the miter gauge, I need to remove these uh, feet for the uh, box joint jig. And then uh, these nuts just come out the bottom like that. And I'll store these back in the box. There, now I can reattach this and uh, use it. And also uh, you can flip it either way. So I can have it uh, like this, or I can flip it like this. So let's uh, take this back over to the table saw and get it reinstalled. Okay, the reason why I can flip this is because I have a T-track on both sides, so I can use it. And uh, this track right here is right in the center, so I can do it either way. Plus, I've got these slots here, which will allow for a little bit of play. So I want this in, in the track before I install. this set to zero and I'm going to put it in this position since I'm not going to be using the box joint jig currently
these on. Slip these in the track. And just tighten down the screws from the back side using the Allen the supplied Allen wrench. Okay, just get you in on this side, and you can see how I'm tightening this fence down. Okay, one more time here. All right, and I've got uh, no play here. And I can make my adjustments here, 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 and here um, if I need to uh, tighten this or loosen it in any way. All right, let's go ahead and make a couple of cuts. Okay, so you can see there that uh, that's a really good angle cut right there. And just to uh, give you an idea whether or not this is square. So the cuts are accurate. You've got this uh, dual purpose fence, which can be used as a standard fence, or you can flip it over, put the feet on right here, and then you've got a, a box joint jig. And I'll, uh, I'll cover the box joint functionality in another video. But uh, if you take a look here, you can loosen this and adjust your angles and the angles uh, these detents are every five degrees plus the addition of this twenty two and a half degree and it has the exact same angles on both sides so there's your twenty two and a half in the other direction So I purchased this off of banggood.com. I'll leave, leave a link in uh, the description. Again, if you just want the miter gauge by itself, uh, that runs right around $60. And if you want the combination fence, box joint jig, and miter gauge, uh, that's running right around $90 currently. 
Um, but they do, these do go on sale occasionally. I purchased this on sale. And uh, this is not a sponsored video. Um, nobody sent this to me or uh, nobody's sent me a script or anything like that. I just uh, purchased this myself and uh, because I needed an accurate miter gauge that had the ability to adjust uh, the gauge so that it would fit in the T the T slot without any uh, wiggle. So I'm really happy with this miter gauge and um, that's going to do it for uh, this week's video. I'll talk to you guys later.